Hello again. Um, this is Penny. Penny, as you can see, is a little chocolate lab. She's a sweetheart. She really is a very kind type of dog. Very busy. A real working type dog. <laughs> and loves grass and loves twigs. Um, when you've been with your dog and worked on the come on and the here for about two, three, sometimes four days, you know, three or four sessions a day, five minutes each time, then your dog begins to understand what it's all about. I've brought her out on a shorter leash, so I've got more control when I want to do the sit. I can't do the sit very easily with a tractable, I will admit, and all the little tools that I've got. And that's worth thinking about, by the way. When you're working with this, when you're working with a leash, practice sometimes without the dog, as to tapping it and holding it and doing different things, because your dexterity, your skill, will affect how the dog learns. So, little Penny, she's been here a week with us. She now is familiar with the collar, knows what it's all about, understands it. So she's not going to associate it with me if she gets too close, particularly for the sit. But with her, I'm going to just show her how to sit in two or three ways, just to show you can do it whichever way you want. This is no fixed magic way. You might use a little pressure from the leash, you might lose a little pressure from your hand, you might use a little food, you might wait till she actually sits automatically and go sit as she does it. There are different ways. You can do it at feed time. Hold the bowl up till she goes to sit and she goes down and then you give it to her. Okay? Now we want to link this to this. Back to the big leash collar. For the simple reason being, if you think about it, the dog now understands here. The dog now understands come. Now all of a sudden I'm going to tap her near my side and say sit. And she says, wait a minute, I'm here and I've come on. What the heck are you doing now? And what we're doing is we just linking it with the command. So it's simultaneous. We're linking it with the command. We're bringing the command to her attention. And that is the important thing. It's not a force. It's not a pressure. It's not a correction. It's a prompt. Well, you're looking very calm today, young lady. Are you ready? <laughs> Come on. And again, I can use the leash for a few little things. Let's say a little dressage before we do the sit, okay? So it's a, come on, good. Come on, good. Nice. Okay, here, good. Very good, lovely. Ready, here, good. All right, now she comes in and she's beginning to sit automatically, which is nice. Very nice indeed. So let's put something to that. Remember I said, if she does it because she wants to, let's put a command to it. Come on. Here. Good. Sit. Good. I'm not automatically at that one though, pressing the button. Because I don't want her to think, oh, I've come in, I've done here, I don't want to confuse her. But what I'm going to go down is, I'm going to go down a level. I'm on a seven with her, I'm going to go down to a six. Remember there's 15 levels on this, and those first low levels are very low, okay? So let's try and put the collar to it. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Good. Notice how I'm going to aim to walk to heel now with the come on. Come on. Good. Are you ready? Set. Good. Very good. Nice. Come on. And now I can even start to begin to put the collar to each command. Ready? Come on. Good. Here. Notice I back away. Here. Here. Set. <laughs> No, I wanted to sit, not a down. There you go. So I'm going to bring her into a sit again. Very nice. You know, we're, we're training here for good companions. And many times if the dog goes from a sit to a down, the owner won't worry because that's another step towards even calmer type of dog. All right. But we can do it another way, can't we? Remember? Okay, you. I'm putting the controller in my left hand this time. All right, I've got food. Here. Good. Here. Here. Set. Good. She must think this is heaven today because I rarely give food. 
but I just wanted to show that you can do it that way. And I'm using our own kibble, very, very, very small. Broken up, not as big as my thumbnail. My fingernail, should I say. Come on, sweetheart. Good. Of course, there is another way you can do it as well. So I've got the collar in my right hand, leash in my right hand, sit, and I can put my hand down and I can put pressure on the butt there and lift here. So it's a lift, it's a pressure, very good. Let's do that again. Ready? Sit. Good. Notice the tap at the same time as the sit. And with this little girl, she's been ever so good. She really is. She was quite a wild thing again when she first came in. A real hunting type chocolate Labrador. Don't think you'll ever take that out of them. People say, will I destroy the character? No. When they understand more, when they're your partner, they get more character. They get more personality because they know what their job is. They know where they fit into the pack, the structure, your family. And once they know and they're confident, they're happier. So the idea of this collar is to help you train them to get the perfect companion. And you're gonna be super, aren't you? I know you are, yes. Come on. <laughs>